Happy Wednesday. Phil Lindemann with your midday news on Crystal 93. Peak Health Alliance, the three-year-old healthcare co-op founded right here in Summit, has left its hometown. Longtime marketing director Dave Rossi recently took a job with the county. He was the last employee based right here in Summit. The rest are now on the front range, and the group is hiring for a CEO. Meanwhile, rates through Peak Health's partner, Bright Health, are looking grim for next year. A local paying $280 per month today could be paying over $400 by January. First-time council candidates Kevin Stout and John Woods are running for an empty seat in Dillon. Stout explains why he is running. There was a lot of resentment of the town because council basically said, we believe this is better for the town, therefore we don't care what the residents think. Woods on how he would serve if elected. I want people to hold me to this, these ideas that I have. You know, I want people to say... How are we doing on that idea that you brought up? At 5.30 today is a candidate forum at Dillon Town Hall. All are welcome. The special election is held September 13th. Summit adopted a new trails and open space master plan yesterday. The first update to that plan in 25 years. Commissioner Elizabeth Lawrence. It was a pretty significant switch, right, from going about land acquisition um, to now management. This plan guides where and how the county will build new trails and what it can do with its open space. The county has spent millions on land acquisitions in recent years. Silverthorne's Bluebird Market has got a mural to match its namesake. Artist Erica Donahue won a grant through the town to design and create a two-story mural on the south wall. What you'll see is a couple of aspen trees going up the whole space there and a couple bluebirds to kind of play off the theme of the market and because those are my favorite birds and I get very excited whenever I see them up here. See our video with Erica and her mural on the Crystal 93 Facebook page. James Bond is summering in Vail. A snowboard from 1985's A View to Kill is now on display at the Colorado Snow Sports Museum. Bond escaped skiing henchmen on the board. With stunt work from Tom Sims, founder of Sims Snowboards, it was one of the first films to ever feature the sport. When that film came out, snowboarding wasn't even allowed on Vail Mountain. Local fire danger remains low today with no fire restrictions here in Summit. In sports, the Rockies beat the Rangers last night 7-6. The Rockies face the Rangers again today in about one hour at 110. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz & Associates with American Family in Dillon, Summit High Boys Soccer lost the home opener to Battle Mountain yesterday 4-3 in overtime. Today, Lady Tigers Volleyball is playing Clear Creek at home. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.